And he conquered death, hell, and the grave. We're all going to die. You know how we're going to conquer death? Through Jesus. Because he, because he was the only one. He was the only one that conquered death. Remember what it was like before life? Do you remember what it was like before you were born? No. So how do you know it's going to be like that after death? How do you know that next life, there's going to be a next life? Because Jesus, who's from eternity, he came and spoke of the realities of eternity. And I believe that. My name is Colby Brown. I'm from Liberty, Kentucky. And uh, I, I'm here. I attend Blessed Hope Christian Fellowship there. And I also have a few brothers in the Lord that are, that are here from Ohio. Is that where your parish is? That's where my church is. What's your church? What is your church? Remnant Christian Fellowship. It's a non-denominational church. Hi, I'm John. I'm a marketing major at UCF. I'm uh, 20 years old. I just had a wonderful conversation with the uh, pastor over there. So, should he be here? Yes, he should be here because it gets people engaged. People will get offended about what they're saying and they will go and fight them on their own beliefs. It'll make people, it'll, it'll challenge him as well as challenge others. And it's always good when people get offended because it makes them ask, why am I offended? What is it that makes me offended about him? And how can I try and change his mind and maybe my own? All right, Jesus taught that we're to let our light so shine before men you know, such as you don't hide a light that's in a room, but rather you let, you know, if you have a candle, you put it on a, on a, you know, on a lampstand so that it giveth light to everybody there. What's your full name? Uh, Smith. Kristen Smith. I know Noah. What's your major? You know, forensic science. Forensic science? Mm -hmm. Well, I was a, I used to go to Catholic school for a majority of my life, and my mother still watches the televangelist and goes to church, but I, I'm an atheist. So if I'm preaching the gospel to a man, it takes me being open uh, uh, with my faith. If you see the scriptures all the way throughout Jesus and his apostles, when openly taught and preached the word of God. So that's what we're here doing today. Also, they say that God is one who used the